The one and four Jacksonville Jaguars are back in London, often referred to as their second home. Will the Jags enjoy home field advantage against the Chicago Bears this Sunday? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get all sports, all access, 60 days for just $6 a day. The details are in the ticker below. This is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. Of course, I recommend this guy right here. I'm still the number one big play handicapper. That's 4% and 5% plays since 2022. Up over 140 units with those plays in 2024 alone. Uh, As always, though, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. Uh, The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button. And that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Let's get into it. The Jags are a two-point dog. The total sits at 44. And uh, I asked the question, will the Jaguars experience some home field advantage? Well, they're certainly experienced in traveling to London. This will be their 12th trip across the pond. They do have a winning record in those uh, previous 11 games, 6-5 and five all time. They've won three of their last five uh, They've scored 20 plus points in all three wins. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to lean too heavily on the Jags having a home field advantage. But I will tell you, the Bears might be having a disadvantage the fact that they're not playing at home. The Chicago team uh, has won all their home games this season, lost all their road games this season. Uh, going back to the beginning of last season, they are 2 and 10 on the road. The two victories came against. Uh, what you might call backup quarterbacks, Washington's Sam Howell and Minnesota's Josh Dobbs. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, I think, is a little bit better than both of those guys, even though he's he's had a, a tough start to the season. He's coming off a big game, though. He threw for 371 yards, two touchdowns and a pick on 28 of 34 passing against the Colts. And some will say, yeah, but the Jags defense let uh, Joe Flacco march up and down the field with the uh, Indianapolis offense. I'd have to say that Joe Flacco, even though he's old, he was cooking with Cleveland last year. He's a Super Bowl champion at this point uh, in his career. I still think he's better than Caleb Williams. And uh, added adversity, playing on the road in a foreign country for Caleb Williams, not sure I love that spot for him. Uh, So there's no question I want to lean on the Jags as the dog here. But we did have some criticism with last week's videos. Uh, in the NFL videos, I gave up some gave out some prop bets. I had comments saying, I don't want props, or you better put props in the title, you're wasting my time, that kind of sentiment. I will say, though, that that was followed up by even more people commenting that they did want the props and they appreciate those. So in this video, we're going to, you know, I'm a man of the people. We're going to give out side, total, and props. So everybody's covered. Uh, I'm going to look at the Jags. I do think uh, playing in London, coming off their first win of the season, this is a good spot for Jacksonville. Uh, I'm going to look at the over. Uh, There has been a trend of low-scoring games or a sentiment that there's a trend of low-scoring games in London. I will point out that the the scores have been lower at Wembley, and Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is not a stadium that is really conducive to unders in any way. And uh, I think both these teams will score some points. So I like the over. And a sneaky play on uh, Jacksonville's backup running back, Tank's, Tank Bigsby, at plus 190 to score a touchdown. Uh, Trevor Etienne has been banged up all season. He's been limited in practice. I think he's going to play. I think he's going to get uh, 50% of the snaps at, at best. And Bigsby's going to Bigsby's been the more productive back. So I think there's value there at plus 190 on Tank Bigsby to score a touchdown. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.